Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Tonight it was all about women. This is the first full day of the Democratic National Convention and women as well as those with Hawaii ties were front and center. KITV4's Laura Yamana joins us now with the details. Laura. Well, Paula, 38 Hawaii delegates front and center or at least with a good seat at the DNC in Charlotte, North Carolina. The local candidate, though, making the biggest splash, Tulsi Gabbard, considered a rising star with a story the Democrats are eating up. Aloha. I'm Tulsi Gabbard, candidate for Congress in Hawaii and a captain in the Army National Guard. Her energy, her drive, her story. On the first day of the Democratic National Convention, less than two months away from the general election, Tulsi Gabbard talked first about her service and the growing role of women in the military. These days, it's often women in uniform, moms, wives, even grandmothers, who deploy and leave their families behind. So very proud and privileged to be able to represent Hawaii here on this national stage. And it's our responsibility as a country as leaders to be able to honor them, fight for them, and work hard for them, uh, and never forget their sacrifice. To a cheering crowd, McKinley High School and UH grad Tammy Duckworth told her story too. In recent years, creating key programs to help U.S. veterans. As a helicopter pilot during the Iraq War, she suffered severe wounds during combat. Now, part of her message. It's about whether we do for our fellow Americans what my crew did for me, whether we'll look out for the hardest hit and the disabled, whether we'll pull together in a time of need. In support, 38 local delegates have been spreading the aloha and excitement of the DNC, thrilled with Hawaii representatives bathing in the Democratic spotlight. Well, the fact that, uh, that Tulsi Gabbard will be speaking uh, this evening uh, representing uh, women veterans, uh, women in the military, and speaking with one other candidate, uh, uh, I think says volumes about her, her character and caliber and what's expected in the, in the new Congress. Greetings and aloha from the great state of Hawaii. Last from Hawaii today, the president's little sister, educator and mother, Maya Satoru Ng, sending home a key message to a coveted vote this political season. Our mother also taught us that everyone has worth, regardless of who they are or what they believe. That's what inspired Brock's vision for a more inclusive and compassionate America, where everyone has a part to play in our shared story. Now, on a sit-down interview with CNN Today, Gabbard said her spot in the DNC was a great privilege, but unexpected. She says it has been quite the whirlwind and the weather, pretty hot and humid, so she's looking forward to returning to those island trade winds. Paula? All right, thank you.